Hello, my name is Zaper, and today I will be discussing shulker loaders and shulker unloaders. Uh, to be specific, these are manual loaders, because I've seen plenty of tutorials on their automatic counterparts, but I've yet to see many good ones on the manual versions. They work very similar to each other, and I'll show you all how to build them in just a moment, but let's go over how they work first. First things first, with the basic shulker loader, Empty shulkers go into the top and full shulkers come out the bottom. For the sake of demonstration, these guys are already pretty much full, so we just have to put in a stack of redstone blocks, and boom, it's done. To be fair, they don't all have to be the same block type as long as they are full stacks. This will work just the same. Um, but as you can see, as soon as this box is full, it gets broken, moved into here, and a new box is put in its place. Pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the shulker box unloaders. Uh, in the top slot, instead of empty shulkers, we're putting full shulker boxes. Uh, and empty shulker boxes are coming out of this end. And as you can see from here, there's only one stack left. So if we remove that, the shulker box is automatically broken and replaced with a new one. Empty shulker boxes in here. And we just remove a stack and boom. Super easy. As long as there's a single block of something in here, as long as there's a single item in here, this will not break. You have to remove it until it is completely empty. Just like so. Alright, let's hop into the build section. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the shulker box loader. Um, these are the components you'll need. You'll need two hoppers, a single dispenser, not a dropper, two chests, two repeaters, one comparator, one sticky piston, one observer, one button, one redstone block, and five of whatever solid block you want to go ahead and use. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with the chest in this far bottom right corner. We're working with a 3x5 space, by the way, followed by a hopper. Then over here we're going to place a temporary block, the observer facing down, and then a block on top of that. So we're going to break you for now. And we're going to face the dispenser facing down from this block up here. Break that. We don't need it anymore. Place a block here. Place the piston here. Break you. And then the button comes out the front. Now the button is temporary. This is only to get this process started. You all could also always put in the first shulker manually. Or you can just use the button to do so. Uh, then we're going to bring the hopper over here. Put a chest on top of it. Nice and easy, and this is the front face of our design. All right, let's swing around the back here. Here's where the magic happens. So in this middlemost slot, we're gonna put a block here, and then we're gonna put a block here. We're gonna be feeding a comparator signal out from you and putting a repeater signal into you. Very important. And then we're gonna put a block on the back of this guy, a block on the back of this guy, and one block right in between them. On the block in between them, we're gonna go ahead and put a repeater don't put any ticks on these repeaters, but if this is breaking the shulker box too fast for you, you can add ticks to these repeaters, like that. But we're going to keep that at no ticks for now. And then all we have to do is go ahead and put a redstone block right in the middle of all of this, and ta-da! Your shulker box loader is complete. All we have to do is put empty shulker boxes up here, press the button to get the first one started. Um, I can demonstrate that right now. Shulker box. Let's go ahead and fill you up. First one comes out right here. And then if we are to fill this guy up with, let's say, pistons, like so, it automatically breaks and replaces it with a clean, fresh, empty shulker box. Super simple. All right, let's go ahead and hop over to our next build. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our shulker box unloader. Um, first things first, let's take a look at what items we need. We're going to start with two hoppers, a singular dispenser, once again, not a dropper, two chests, two repeaters, one comparator, two observers, two sticky pistons, we'll grab a button, and four whatever solid block you want to use. I just like using iron blocks because I like how they look, and we're going to grab this for demonstrational purposes later. Uh, let's start with the face of the machine first. We need to put a chest in the bottom right-hand corner of our 3x5 block space. 
we'll feed a dropper, uh, sorry, a hopper into you, not a dropper. Temporary block here, observer facing down, block on top of that, we'll break you. Dispenser facing down, and then another temporary block with a piston. And then we're gonna put a button here, another dropper, uh, and a chest on top of you. Sorry, hopper, not a dropper. And once again, there's the face of our machine. Now let's hop into the back here. So we're gonna to wanna to put a block here and a block here. Uh, oops, yes, a block here and a block here in this little pattern here. Put a sticky piston facing upwards here, observer facing this direction. So he's looking off here. Um, we're gonna take a comparator signal here a redstone repeater on two ticks. Very important, you don't want it set to bit default one, you gotta have it on two. Uh, we're gonna feed that into a block here, and then we're gonna put another repeater facing into our piston here. And there you have it, nice and easy. So let's go ahead and fill you up, just like that. Hit the button, and this system is operational. All we have to do is remove that, boop, Nice and easy. It'll replace it with another shulker box and the empty shulker boxes all end up in here. All right, have a fantastic rest of your day and thank you very much for watching. Bye.